you are maidenless. Goku only kills when he has to, and I definitely have to kill this one. You know what I hate? When little kids walk up to you, and they'll be like, Hey, watch this! And all they do is just jump in the air with their arms out. Like, bro, you just wasted five seconds of my life I'm never gonna get back. I think I'm actually gonna kill myself. What's up, y'all? It's Slime Guy, and welcome back to Elden Ring. I know it's been a while since I played this game, but at least on camera. I've been playing this game like a mother off camera. You might notice there's something a bit different about Elden Ring. Can't really put my finger on it. Anyways, so if you guys haven't heard the news, Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, has passed away. For those of you who don't know, Dragon Ball is actually my favorite anime of all time ever. Same thing with the manga. I love it. It's my favorite. It's what introduced me to anime in the first place. It was my first anime I ever watched. This news really, it kind of hit home, you know? Anyways. I decided to try to honor Akira Toriyama by beating all the mainline Elden Ring bosses. So the mods I'm using are the Goku Player Model mod, obviously, and then the Carrion Combos mod, which is basically just a bunch of bolt combos that you can use. It's really cool. I'm gonna be playing with HUD off just so it looks more cinematic. And also for those of you saying, oh, you're playing the game on easy mode right now, ignore the hands. I beat this game more than nine times because I've also played Seamless Co-op twice. So yeah, I've had my fair share of defeats in this game. It's definitely not easy. There's no mod that makes me like invincible or anything like that i i didn't do anything stupid like that all i did was the carrying combo mod and then the goku model mod so that's all we're gonna do i hope you guys enjoy let's just get into it all right i'm just saying this right now whoever your favorite character is or your favorite verse whether it be anime or not they are not getting past goku goku is going to crush them that is something that everyone needs to accept all right goku is unbeatable i tested out this mod a little bit before recording and dude it is so nutty look at this look at these dodges this is so dumb. And then we got some of this. I don't know what that does, to be honest. That's... That's actually some bullshit right there. Oh my god. <clears throat> I beat Elden Ring so many times on normal, like without mods, so... It's about time I did some mods, you know? So we can actually use the Kamameha. The only problem is that it disables this dodge. That looks pretty cool, but I mean... Let's test it. Okay, that didn't work. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh! Cheater! You're supposed to let me do the Kamehameha, that's how the anime goes. Alright, let's just end it. Easy peasy. I'm telling y'all, Goku cannot be beat. Also, oh my god, this is horrifying. Look at all that blood. We're just gonna zoom through this game. We're just gonna beeline it to the end, alright? Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. There is no need for torrent when I can just do this shit. This is so stupid. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but whenever I dodge, there's like a little bald spot you can see. Sorry, Melina, but I have a wife. I'm just skipping everything in this game. It's okay, I've played it so many times. I've earned this, alright? Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Yeah, this guy has no idea what's about to hit him. Alright, let's do this shit, Margit. Get dodged, bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Take that. I remember how much you beat my ass in the first time I played this game. Take that! Oh no, I low-key prefer the, um, the punching for Goku. So just so you guys know, if I two-hand a weapon, it makes me kick. If I one-hand a weapon, it makes me punch. And I think I prefer the punching. Ooh. You're getting dogged on, bro. On my, uh, on my melee weapon, I also have bleed attribute. I think I prefer that. Ooh, right in the chest, boy. Or am I, like, right in the nuts? Oh, my God. Yeah, you're done for. Nobody survives a punch in the nuts from Goku. Seeing Goku with blood is just so uncanny. Because we usually don't see that anymore. We didn't even use the Kamehameha on him. He would have gotten his booty touched if we did. Also, you guys want to see some bullshit that you can really do with this mod? Watch this. I'm just going to go like this. All right. Just going to keep flying upwards, basically. Because, I don't know, I can do this endlessly, apparently. I'm just gonna go right over here, and then press R1. No fall damage whatsoever. I can just completely bypass barriers, except I gotta be careful, the map hasn't loaded in yet. Man, I feel so bad just speeding through the game like this. I mean, I shouldn't really feel guilty. Uh, it's whatever. Anyways, let's just go through. Look at this fraud. Alright, bro. It's over for you. It's over for you, big dog. Uh-huh. Yeah, I ain't gonna fall for that. I can just jump over. And I'm with- Oh, I missed. Okay. What the fuck? What is that? I don't know what I just did. Let me- Let me punch him while he's down. Come on, kill him, kill him. Damn it. 
It is time to beat your ass right now. Oh! Damn it. Oh my god, my frames are so ass here. I'm just gonna finish this fight. Sorry, that, that fight, whenever I do this fight, it gives me absolutely horrendous frames for some reason. Until I touch the side of grace. So yeah, I just wanted to skip that last part. Miyazaki is pissed right now, bro. At how fast we're moving through this map. I've nearly 100%ed this game. I think I just need like a couple more legendary Ashes of War and stuff like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know that you want to see more Elden Ring content. I love this game. Favorite game of all time. Or at least... Favorite single player game of all time. I'll do randomizers, more modded stuff, whatever you guys want to see. Um, I feel like fighting a dragon as Goku is kind of counterintuitive to what I'm doing right now. Unless we're talking about GT Goku and he's fighting Omega Shenron and all those other dragons. But, you know, uh, we'll just skip this guy. I'll just grab what I need. Oops, that's not what I need. And I will get the hell out of here. Goodbye. You know, I could easily skip this part, but uh, we love beating a certain type of person that's in here. We won't say what it is. Everything I say is a joke, don't take it seriously. What the dog doing? Oh, she can't really time- this dodge is so quick. The timing for it is nasty. Oof. Hey. What the hell is that? I like the kicks, but I feel like Goku's style is more punches. At least for the most part, you know? Once he fuses with uh, Vegeta into Vegito, then yeah, kicks. But I'm obviously not Vegito, I'm Goku. This is just insane work, by the way. Oh, this guy has the same moveset. That's cool. You're still gonna get your ass beat, though. Yeah, you're done for. You ain't nothing, bro. You ain't nothing, little bro. This is gonna be a massacre, bro. Like, this boss specifically. It's just a one-sided fight at this point. It's not even a fight. We love beating children. That's a joke. Oh my god, I hate the fucking target locking. What? Okay, well that didn't work. This is- I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it before she, uh, is her second phase. Alright, so apparently I don't think I have enough mana, or mana, whatever, to do my Kamehameha, so... We're just gonna go through this, punching everybody to death. Oh, oh, that was easy. Alright, this one is- Hey, you can't use that, that's my move. This one is obviously a tad bit more challenging than the first phase. I'll still show y'all how it's done. I don't know what that does, to be honest. <laughs> Why do I look like that? Oh, I baited it. Goku only kills when he has to, and I definitely have to kill this woman. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, wrong character. Sorry. You know what I hate? When little kids walk up to you, and they'll be like, Hey, watch this! And all they do, is just jump in the air with their arms out. Like, bro, you just wasted five seconds of my life I'm never gonna get back. I think I'm actually gonna kill myself because of you. Or like, when you're eating hot Cheetos and your little cousin comes up to you, and he'll be like, Oh, I don't even find those spicy. Like, okay, little bro. I'm not gonna give you any. I don't give a fuck. Or they'll be like, my mom lets me eat those. Okay, go ask your mom for some fucking food, bro. Go ask your mom for these hot Cheetos, bitch. I'm gonna be real. I don't think these bosses have realized that they're side characters. <laughs> Goku's quest to claim the Elden Ring. Alright. Hit him with that Kamehameha, huh, Goku. I'm gonna get hit. Fuck. My Kamehameha wave got cancelled. I'm out. Alright, let's hit him with it. Uh-oh. Damn! Let me hit him in his face now. Right in the eye socket, bro. You're done for. No way you're still alive. Oh, you are. What the hell? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Easy peasy. Man, that camera angle is always so trash. Like, when bosses are that big, the camera angle gets so annoying, bro. I actually have a story that kind of ties in with, uh... This whole mod stuff. I remember as a kid, like, I think... I don't know, early on as a kid, I hated Dragon Ball. I, I don't know why. Just seeing any type of anime, I didn't want to watch it, you know? I just didn't want to watch anime. I didn't. As a kid, I was like, yeah, that looks stupid. And then for some reason, one night, uh, my mom was in the hospital. I was really sad. And I was lying in bed with my brother and my dad. And my brother's like, oh, I'm gonna watch Dragon Ball. And I was like, oh. But I was just too sad to, like, move and, like, not watch it. So I was like, alright, whatever, I'll watch it. And if I remember correctly, this first episode... This is the first episode I ever watched. It was the episode where future Gohan died. And he had the whole fight between the androids, Android 17 and 18. 
and I fell in love with Dragon Ball. Right then and there, I was like, this is the anime. This is the cartoon show that's gonna define, like, the rest of my life. Ever since then, I just fell in love with Dragon Ball, thanks to that one episode. Crazy, too, that it was a... One of the saddest episodes I've ever watched in anything, to be honest. But yeah, just a little bit of a story time. Just kind of explain where the love for Dragon Ball started. Because before that, I didn't really watch anime, I just watched cartoons. And then after that, I just started anything that was Dragon Ball I loved. As a kid, I tried to get manga, but I didn't really know how to. I still called them comics at the time, so it was kind of weird going to a comic shop and being like, Hey, do you all have Dragon Ball comics? And they just kind of looked at me like a weirdo. And then, uh, Dragon Ball is actually what got me into drawing as a kid. I, uh, I learned to draw all the Dragon Ball characters because it was kind of like a... It was a somewhat simple template. I'm not gonna be like everybody on Twitter who's like, All the Dragon Ball characters look the same. No, they don't. There is a similar template to drawing their muscles, I guess. And yeah, that's what got me into art as well. It defined a lot of aspects of my life. Let's hurry up and beat this guy. I'm kind of getting my ass whooped right now. Easy peasy. And I remember during that specific episode too, this was like the first time I had ever watched Dragon Ball, by the way, when uh, Future Gohan died to the androids. And for some reason, that just really made me like connect with the anime, it made me so sad too. Like I almost went to bed crying after that. Even though I had never watched that show before, it really like hit home, I guess. I don't know why either. It just made me extremely sad. I have never fallen in love with an anime as much as I've fallen in love with Dragon Ball. Akira Toriyama really hit the nail on the head with that. If I were to have any complaints about the carry and combo mod that I'm using, is that the dodge is just instantaneous. So you have like no frames. You have no iframes pretty much. You have like a couple. So it's like you gotta do it last second to dodge everything. It's not like Bloodhound Step where it gives you like 15 frames or something to dodge an attack. You just gotta do it like boom right then and there. In case y'all have any doubts that I don't know how to play this game, I know this guy's attack pattern. Just to show you guys. Oof, that hit me a little bit. See that? I know what I'm doing. I have played against this guy so many times, bro. It's insane. Oops. Beat my ass so many times. Am I doing damage to him? I can't tell because there's no blood. Since he's an apparition. Oh, yep. I'm definitely doing damage. Come here, bitch. Ooh, right in the chest. Unfortunately, I can't hit you in the bowels. I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, they killed him anyways. Yippee! Graceless. Tarnished. Erm, actually, my name is Goku. Son Goku. Alright, man. This looks so badass. No, that's not gonna happen. You know what? Let's do let's do kicks this time around. Hit him with that Kamehameha, though. Ooh, before we do the kicks. Uh-oh. Nope. New meaning to kick in your ass, boy. Uh-oh. Gosh, the fast-paced movement is just insane. Let's back up. Who gave him that perky, bro? He's tweaking. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. Editor, put some funny music over- Oh, never mind, don't do that. Ooh. nuh -uh. I don't know if that does any damage, to be honest, but it looks cool. I don't know why it randomly disables my kicking all of a sudden. Maybe because I am disabled IRL. Oh, shit. Done for, bro. Easy. Easy peasy. Get on my verse, boy. No death run going well. So the talismans we're using are a twin blade talisman. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Then we have Viridian Amber Medallion plus two. Vastly raises maximum stamina. This is good for the base game in general. Just dodging, running, all of that. Attacking. Then we have Rotten Winged Sword Insignia. Greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Finally, we have the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. And I use that because I'm an idiot and I get hit a lot. Even when I know like what the boss is doing, I get hit a lot and take a shit ton of damage. Also, the fact that I can just do this... It just negates all the damage. That's stupid. Pressing R1 last second will negate any damage from fall damage. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's kind of cool though, once you play the game like, you know, 11, 12 times, you get, you get a little tired of running through the same avenues over and over and over. I'm gonna be completely honest though, I haven't gotten tired of this game. I still love this game very much. I remember as a kid, I remember the specific episode, it was during the Boo Saga. 
of Dragon Ball. And I think Gohan was trying to teach Videl how to harness her key or something like that. If I remember correctly, I think that's what it was. She started to like fly around and stuff and I was like, whoa, but Videl's a human. So I sat outside, crisscross applesauce, the way Gohan was seated. He had like his hands in like a triangle form or whatever. And I tried doing that. Tried to quote unquote harness my key and nothing was happening. And I was like, okay, this is bullshit. I got so upset as a kid because I expected myself to be like, oh, now I can fly and do Kamehamehas. And yeah, that, obviously that didn't happen. I also tried to go Super Saiyan as a kid. I stood outside for about 30 minutes screaming like a maniac. Nothing happened. Obviously my hair did not turn blonde. I was not stronger, but I did almost pass out because you know, I was screaming. A lot. Also, I want you guys to realize we're beating this game as base Goku. Base Goku solos your verse, alright? I don't care who you are. I don't care if his ability is I'ma beat Goku's ass. He ain't beating Goku. Especially not that fraud Gojo, alright? I, I ain't never seen Goku cut in half, that's all I'm saying. Also, there's something I want to talk about for New Game Plus for this game. For some reason, let's say New Game Plus 7, when everything stops scaling, when the bosses become the hardest they could possibly be, it is a breeze until you get to the Fire Giant. Then from the Fire Giant beyond, you get like two shot. It's, it's actually insane. You go to fight, what's it called? Uh, let's just say, let's just say you go to fight, I guess, Godfrey, all right? Godfrey, not the golden form, the regular form. He will two-shot the fuck out of you, and then when you start fighting him as Horalu, yeah, you're done for. He will one-shot you with that command grab. It's so annoying. But then, like, you're fighting, let's say, Godfrey's, like, spirit, the golden Godfrey. It'll take, like, six hits to kill you. It's so stupid. Like, just the level of intensity is insane once you pass the fire giant. Oh yeah, this feels a lot more like Goku. Gotta be careful though. I don't think I'll be using the Kamehameha anymore. Because it's just a hassle. To like, equip the staff mid-fight and then take it off. Whoa. Relax, bro. Come on, come here. I know your game. Oh shit. I may not be familiar with your game. Oh, all these fancy moves don't scare me, boy. Oh, right in the jaw. Get out of here. Yeah, you're done for. So unfortunately, I was playing a couple hours ago. For some reason, when I finished playing the whole game, the uh, end of the file corrupted, and I, we basically left off that this fight. So can we just talk about like the actual influence that Dragon Ball has had on, on a lot of forms of media? Like let's like Sonic for example, Sonic the Hedgehog, it would not exist in the current state that it's in if not for Dragon Ball because we have Super Sonic, which is Sonic's form of Super Saiyan. We have the Chaos Emeralds, which is the seven Dragon Balls. They serve different purposes, but you know, still a correlation there. And then we have Shadow, which is supposed to be Vegeta, and then we have Silver, obviously, who is supposed to be Trunks from the future, all that. Basically, the way I see it is a lot of manga today would not be like what it is if it were not for Dragon Ball, you know? Dragon Ball kind of like set the stage for what a good manga and anime should be. Or at least, not the stage, but I guess it raises the bar. Like, a lot. I've never seen anything affected me as much as Dragon Ball has throughout my life. I mean, there have been things that affect me as a person and aspects of my life, but nothing like Dragon Ball, you know? It's just been the defining factor of so many things in my life. My art, I don't know, my motivation when I, you know, have it very rarely, stuff like that. Damn, Goku's bloody as hell. Now, if I were to have to name, like, a favorite saga from Dragon Ball, I think I'd have to say the Boo Saga, just because, like, we got so much stuff. We got Super Saiyan 3, we got Vegito introduced to us, we, um, what else did we get? We got Kid Boo, well, we got Boo in general. And then Kid Buu is probably my favorite version of him because he's just so... Like, he's not the strongest Buu, that's for sure. But he is the most brutal, which is what makes him the most dangerous. Because he's reckless, he does not care what he's doing at all. He's just destroying shit. That's what I really like about Kid Buu. We got Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3, we got Super Saiyan 3 in general, Vegito. We got Majin Vegeta, which is phew, amazing. Vegeta's whole character development in that one specific saga just went absolutely insane. Like, that is the best character development I've seen ever. But, I would have to say that the Cell Saga is a very close second. I guess the Android Saga in general, because we got the future Gohan scene where he's fighting the androids and dies, which always makes me really sad. But we also got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's rage moment, or I guess Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2. We also got Goku's sacrifice, which I, that always makes me tear up as well. But I mean, I don't dislike any Dragon Ball Saga, to be honest. They're just that good. 
The only thing I'd really dislike are like arcs, I guess, like kind of the um well I guess it's kind of filler in the anime with like that purple Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super. I didn't really like that. That was kinda weird. I don't know, I think that was just filler though. I loved every saga. And then oh don't even get me started on the movies, bro. Woof! Seeing Gohan finally be useful and then transforming the beast was just so amazing. Not to mention the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie made Gogeta canon. That was just insane. That's why I say it's the best anime, bro. I'm not trolling. Damn, I'm looking getting my ass handed to me right now. I hate Horalu. Oh, never mind. Alright, hopefully my recording doesn't get fucked because when I fought the Elden Beast, he kept spamming moves. Like, th this has literally never happened to me before. He spammed that move where he flies up into the sky and then there's like the Elden Ring symbol below you and it just blows you up over and over. He kept doing that over and over. Like, he's only done that twice ever. But I can't really complain though, I have mods that are practically making the game easy mode. Can't complain too much. Alright. We're close to obtaining the Elden Ring. Let's do it. Oh. I'm kicking his ass, literally. Oh, shit. That ain't gonna work on me. Ooh! Right in the nipple, I think. Or something. Oh! I jumped right into that. Kicking your ass. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Doesn't feel too good when they teleport, too. How did Take that, little bitch. Alright, come on. Oh, I gotta bounce. He's gonna breathe fire. Is there, like, golden jizz on me, bro? What is this? Why do I have a golden tin? I'm not Super Saiyan right now. I will beat your ass. Oof. Right in your balls, right in your Elden balls. He best not be fucking spamming moves again, bro. No, no, here it comes. Here it comes. Psych, bitch, I'll just jump over it. Oh, where you at? What, what did I fucking say? He's gonna spam that shit four times in a row. I can't complain, I'm using mods, but Jesus. This is gonna be very boring. Genuinely, besides the fire giant, I think this is the most boring boss fight in the game. Oh my god. The fire giant is definitely the most boring. This is like the second. Like, it's artificial difficulty, if you think about it. He's just doing all this shit that's so easy to dodge, but I mean... Uh, oh my god. Alright, let me just skip ahead. Oh, here we go. How original of you. I'll just dodge right through that because I'm a beast. Look at that. Ooh, I'm here again, bitch. Yeah, finally. Spam this shit again and I'll come back and kill your ass again. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. That was a breeze, to be honest. That was pretty much easy mode. <laughs> well, there's that. I'd like to think that was in honor of uh, Akira Toriyama. Take it as you will. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> That's all there is to say, really. Other than rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Thanks for everything. All the memories and the childhood. Bye, guys.